Okay, so if you haven't heard the news yet, spoiler alert, Dragon Ball Super is coming to an end in March. Yeah, I know. What the heck? I was going to make a video about the topic, but I, I decided to make this video instead. It's pretty much just a parody about how I think Dragon Ball Super will end, um... Go check it out, I'm pretty proud of it. So I'm going to touch base on Dragon Ball Super ending at the end of this video, but for now, episode 124 review. Episode 124 of Dragon Ball Super was pretty decent. I enjoyed Freeze's interactions. Gohan being eliminated was something I did not expect, simply being that I thought something great was in store for him. Guess I'll have to scrap my Five Signs Gohan will win video. Anyway, overall, I actually enjoyed the episode. There are a few noticeable animation issues, but uh, I couldn't do half of this shit, so I'm not gonna complain. Anyway, there isn't really much else I wanted to talk about from this episode. However, next episode, oh, let's just uh, let's just talk about shirtless Topo for a second. I can't wait. <laughs> anyway, I'm about to make some spoiler-based predictions for the upcoming episode. So if you'd like to avoid potential spoilers, skip to this part of the video. Anyway, let's begin. So episode 125 of Dragon Ball Super consists of a fight between Topo versus Android 17 and Frieza, which is an interesting matchup. Anyway, Topo ends up becoming a god of destruction. Ooh, fancy. Can't wait to see what's uh what's on the other side of this 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 shot. This is gonna have to go in my top 10 <laughs> sexiest Dragon Ball. <laughs> anyway, episode 126's title is Surpass Even a God, Vegeta's Life Risking Blow. So, if we put two and two together, episode 126 obviously consists of the fight between God of Destruction Topo and Vegeta, because the whole God being surpassed is Topo. Now, check this. Life Risking Blow. I, I want to make some quick elimination predictions. I feel like Android 17 will get eliminated next episode. Episode 125. I mean, it's awesome he's made it this far in the tournament, but I can't see much else that he could do in this tournament. Who knows, I could be wrong about that, but I feel like Topo needs at least one elimination, so this could be it. Really hope he goes out in a cool way though, that'd be, that'd be alright. I think Frieza will stand back and survive this fight, however, in episode 126, uh, I think we'll be seeing a double elimination of possibly Topo and Vegeta. No matter how the fight goes, I feel like this is going to be the outcome. If this were to happen, it would leave the final three participants of the Tournament of Power to be Frieza, Goku, and Jiren, much like what was teased a while back in the Dragon Ball Heroes preview. Anyway, this would leave five episodes to conclude the tournament, which, damn. That's not a lot of time, but regardless, I think that's how the next couple of episodes will go in terms of eliminations. Anyway, this brings me to the major part of the discussion for this video. It's been announced that Dragon Ball Super will be coming to an end. I'm not sure if that means that Dragon Ball Super will be completely gone and that's it, or this just means a temporary break. Regardless, I've been wondering, how the hell could they wrap up Dragon Ball Super in just seven episodes? There are so many things left unexplained, but regardless, I've been thinking about the best way they could end this show, or leave it on a cliffhanger for the return. And it all depends on who wins the tournament, Universe 7 or Universe 11. Now, keep in mind that to win, Goku must attain Ultra Instinct within the next seven episodes and defeat Jiren whilst possibly keeping Frieza under control. That's if uh, my predictions are, are correct, which probably not. But what if it didn't completely go this way and Universe 7 lost? Meaning, bye bye Universe 11. BANG! Obviously a popular counter argument to this is, man, the Dragon Ball Z ending goes past Super, so Universe 7 can't be erased, and yeah, that's true, but what if they erased Universe 7 for a major cliffhanger, and that's all we get, until possibly another series of course. The thing is, even though that we know what happens at the end of Z, there are so many new fans of this show that haven't seen the original Dragon Ball Z and have no idea how this tournament will go in terms of the outcome. Could you imagine their reaction to Universe <laughs> 7 getting a raise? Now, I think this ending would be pretty interesting. Um, it is kind of unlikely because to wrap up a series, obviously Goku's got to win, yada yada yada. But if this was left as a cliffhanger and Universe 7 was erased and that's it, um, Man, I I don't know how I'd handle that. I'd like to hear your thoughts on Universe 7 possibly getting erased for a cliffhanger, but I've also been thinking about the worst way to end the series if Goku wins and restores all universes. Could you f***ing imagine how anticlimactic? Anyway, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Now, Dragon Ball Super is indeed ending, and whether that's for a year or forever, Dragon Ball is not gone. It's actually peaking in popularity at the moment, so they wouldn't just erase it. They might erase Universe 7, though. <laughs> Up top.
but not Dragon Ball entirely. With this said, while Dragon Ball Super is off air, people have been asking me, what are you going to do with this channel? And I just wanted to assure you that I'm not going anywhere. For real, even though Dragon Ball Super is obviously the main outsource of my content, I have a lot of other video ideas that are Dragon Ball related, of course, that I will definitely be doing and I really think you guys will like them. So be sure to stick around on the channel. I won't spoil what I'm going to be doing with the channel while Dragon Ball Super is off air, but I can tell you what I won't be doing. I won't be going back and reviewing all episodes of Dragon Ball Super that I missed, simply because how would I make theory and prediction videos about things we already know the answer to? Hey guys, I have a theory for Goku Black's identity. I, I think he is a uh, Pycon. Pycon. I won't be doing power level analysis videos because I suck at power scaling. Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm going to be proving that Goten is stronger than a Goku Ultra Instinct. Uh, it's pretty simple. Uh, Goten is Goku's son, so that's, uh, that's Goku times two. And finally, I won't be doing any more rap songs. Just kidding, Goku's diss track on Jiren is coming soon. Oh, I forgot to remind you guys to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and uh, I also forgot to say peace. Peace!